hello guys so what we have today is iPhone 8 plus and it has got a short on the board and um, if you the the most complex problem which technician can face um, repairing any um, laptop MacBook Samsung or iPhones is that it's just not turning on so where to start so if you look at uh, if you have seen my previous videos I have shown you how to find out even before it started working um, by the DC power supply uh, what kind of short it could be possibly anyway so this is the phone here 8 plus so the first thing which any one of us should be doing is um, um, look at uh, the physical condition of the board if you can find so we will look put it under microscope I will turn on the microscope light okay start from here and as you can see we have got all this um, protective and plastic here very clean board so first thing I will be doing is removing this plastic from here and see if we can find anything which is maybe burnt I have to get another chisel because this doesn't hold the plastic properly yeah, I think it does I think I have to order new users because uh, the students who come to learn they sometimes you know use these tweezers and um, when the users tips are you can see what I'm doing okay maybe I can put you here on the other camera yeah I think here is okay so anyway I'm just what I'm doing is removing all this yeah that comes out quite easily so all good here I don't see anything which bring my attention all good okay let's move here Um, most likely I'm not gonna find anything because this board is like no moisture damage I can see no liquid damage maybe it was what is it here hmm. it's just the plastic part has come out that does should not affect anything will not affect anything so should be okay okay let's move here all good here all good here let's look under the microscope so that you can see see all nice and clean Yeah. anyway so we couldn't find anything after removing these um, plastic let's now look under the other side which is this one here okay so I usually remove it with this sort of blade just cut it through and okay 
All right, so nothing here. All good. And let's look under the microscope so that I can show you. So we couldn't find anything which is physically we can see see how clean the board is and what the hell has happened then so guys <clears throat> a clean board no evidence of liquid damage or any burnt component what we should do now so the options we have left here is to check randomly if we can find any shorted line so let's check start checking here see if we can find anything which is so i'm just checking randomly anything which is still we can find you can see there right here okay so especially in this area come on anyway let's come down here no no that's not the one because the resistance is not as low as I was expecting. Let's check here. No. Okay, so let's check this last one here. No. Okay. Let's remove this and just have a look here. Hmm. So another problem, we couldn't quickly, by checking the, with the multimeter, we couldn't find anything which is um, uh, showing the short on the board. So the next thing I would like to check is um, under the thermal camera, if we can find anything which is unusual. So we will go here. Okay, so there's thermal camera image. Okay, so I will connect it to the power and then put it here with the power supply on. Okay, now I will give it some power. So let's go here and okay let's set it here and then give it a little bit of power okay so this is what we oh sorry yeah um yeah you can see okay that's fine so see we have got some evidence here which is going to wow 68 degree 88 degrees so this component here is 88 Ah, this I see here. Okay, so what is it? Let's let's check here. What exactly is this? I see is about this one here, which is U thirty one hundred system boost. Hmm. Okay. So. So guys, uh, we have got a little bit of evidence from the thermal camera that that IC there is heating up, which is that, 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 uh, connect here, which is U3100 system boost. But again, the problem I told you before, uh, we will find out, we will check if we missed that um, line, maybe it's shorted or not that is going from that IC to the capacitor which are attached to that IC but the problem here is you can honestly never rely um, 
on thermal camera or freeze spray method if something is heating up that might not be the one so just for sake of knowledge uh, let's let's try is it uh, okay the freeze camera oh, sorry not the freeze camera but the freeze spray method so what I will do I will connect it here again here Oh, I'm connecting the wrong one. This is not, this is the one smaller ones. Not even that one. Okay. Not that one, not that one. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. Let's put it here. Move it around. Okay. This is. Okay. This one here is heating up this one okay this is what we have seen so anyway what we will do let's put some sprees frame and see if and then uh, power it up yep as you can see uh, thermal camera and the freeze spray you know that is indicating u3100 which is heating up so now the next thing i would like to do is to check whether or not the lines which are coming out from this IC are shorted or not. Hmm. Okay. So I have to find a component which is see this one small cap here. And uh, okay, can you see? Oh, sorry, I will bring you. Oh, how can I bring you here? But anyway, I'm just checking it that way. Can't show you. <laughs> so that cap is not shorted. Let's try another one. Okay, this one here is, this is quite big one. So ta -ta 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 -ta, let's try this one here. That's not even shorted. So... This is PPVDD main. Let's try here and here. I have this I have already tried. Let's try here. Yeah, see if you see anything. Let's check these four capacitors, which is. Hmm, this line is shorted. Okay, so this is PPVDD boost. Now I will show you here. Where should I show you here? Okay, now finally we got to a point we have got this shorted line as you can see. Okay, so this is shorted, but even to, 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 then I couldn't. Let's see where where else is it going to here? Yeah, we have already checked all this. We have checked all this. I couldn't find any burn part. Let's. Okay, the only thing which I we haven't seen is maybe we can find something here because there is a metal sheet here. So let's remove that metal sheet and see if we can because uh, before I do anything, honestly speaking, I would like to look at all the component which is in the same line. So let's check, remove this metal plate here and check if we can find something here. So I will move you here. Okay, first of all, we will put this Okay, like this here so that I can remove yeah I think that should be okay here let's move this camera a little bit zoomed out so that you can see okay yeah okay. yep okay now we have to we will remove this metal plate and see what we can find because the lines which remove this is there any other tape around here no that's all good so we'll just hold it here and just wait Oh, come on, give me some space here.
So I have to be patient. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, that's thank you. Okay, mate, we are almost there. Oh, uh oh. Come on. Oh, fuck. This is hard. Okay, let's see if we can just. Okay. Because the processor is just there and I don't want to really, really hate it. But anyway, it's almost out. Come on, come on. Yep. Okay. Now, the next thing I would like to do is to check anything. Unusual here. I will remove it here and here. Come on, camera, focus. Or oh, maybe this is in the way, that's why. So let's go closer. Maybe under the microscope, we can show you clearly if we can find something here. Oh, come on, man. Okay, here is okay but I will show you under the microscope okay okay here and let's go not here but here but here okay yeah this is also the same PP VDD boost is showing as shorted one of these caps. See, this is also shorted. But if we go really, really cruise, I couldn't find anything which is, you know, nothing. All clean. So, um, sometimes you have to do the guesswork and uh, what I will do in this situation is I will uh, supply some amps on the PPVDD main and see what if I can get because at the moment you know uh, this is what we are getting here is thermal camera is showing U3100 is hitting up freeze spray is showing this is hitting up hitting up going to 88 degrees centigrade so but I don't want to just you know go and remove it I don't want to do that so the next thing I will be doing I will be supplying some power to directly to that line and see how it goes so guys what I'm doing now I with the DC power supply so what we have here is um, this line here which is PPVDD boost and um, uh, U3100s under the thermal camera and um, freeze spray is showing this one is heating up but I, as I told you before I don't want this just take out just because it's heating up now I don't do that so anyway so the next thing I will be doing is so this is positive line so come back here again so at the moment what I have done is negative here from the DC power supply and this is let me look here again okay so this is all these four capacitors so let's come back here again so i'm supplying 
two amps nothing is happening so uh, if you guys are doing it do it on your own responsibility because you know you should know how much is safe so next I'm going 3 amps now there you go oh yeah see <laughs> so we find the who the culprit is so what is happened first of all let me explain it to you so we have supplied um, 2 amps nothing happens we have supplied uh, 3 amps that is where I will show you under the microscope the next um, I'm quite sure this is what the problem was so and as soon as I supplied let's look here okay go bigger okay mate. so see um, am I here yeah, so yeah so this is u3100 this is vdd boost see this was as soon as i supplied 3 amps here see what happened here this burnt out this one here so most probably this capacitor was shorted this is what the logic is you know because when capacitor is shorted you know it's it's act like a wire a thin wire and as soon as we supplied 3 amp this this has burnt out so not what I will do because this is burnt but it's it's still attached I will remove this one and then I will check um, if the shot is relieved or not so as you can see under the microscope this this capacitor here I will get my tuser and I have to get the smaller one which is where all my choosers are going oh yeah one is here is this the one anyway you can use this one so as you can see like this one here as soon as we have supplied three amps on this ppvdd main so this is what we see here now so this is most probably is what the shorted capster is so i will remove it Oh man, as soon as we, I finish any class, then, you know, everything is misplaced, so I got my, anyway. So we will put some flux here and just knock it out. Knocking out is like this. Can you see there? Yeah, okay. So I will just take it out go go away bad man okay so the next thing I will be doing is checking um, um, the same line which is PPVDD main I'm sure that is the right arm um, I just forget sometime anyway but that was PP, was it PPVDD main PPVDD boost line sorry We'll check it again anyway. So now the next thing I'm doing is the same line. If we check, if we got so multimeter in continuity mode. Okay. So so the same line I'm gonna check if so this is positive and see no shot anymore no so guys it looks like the shorted line is relieved we find what the part was shorted and we uh, removed it which was this cap here which is c3110 and it is on ppvdd boost line so the next thing we will be now checking if the phone is turning or or not let's see I will put you here and one more thing while I'm doing this lots of uh, the people and the students who come here they ask me is it important to put these uh, the metal plates like this one we have removed from here is it important to put them back um, I think uh, you should put them back the reason behind is as you can see see this was on the processor area 
as you can see that the thermal paste is here so these uh, these plates they actually act like a heat sink so it increases the thermal mass of um, the board so if the processor is heating up so it's dispensing its heat to these metal plates so it's um, more life and uh, less heat for the processor so it's better you put it there so uh, <clears throat> anyway the next we are doing is putting this back here is it sitting properly oh no this yeah it's okay now so we just need uh, the charging port and just the LCD and come on man let's put this as well anyway so LCD come on come on yep and the battery of course it's not gonna turn on it battery is not There you go. Okay, and mm -hmm. I'm looking at the amp meter, and for me, it looks like it's right. It's drawing the right. Oh yeah. It's turning on. I would like to turn it on fully because the shot was why yep all good and uh, I don't want to put the password because this is customers phone okay so it's all working fine now see it's charging oh sorry where is my amp meter amp meter is here which is you can check if it's drawing the right okay so can you see drawing one amp off while charging that's all good <coughs> so guys the lesson which we have learned today why my camera is blurry now it's good it was focusing there so <coughs> the shot on PP VDD boost we checked under the thermal camera this is what I wanted to tell you guys before as well but I did not have any phone or any recording so Thermal camera gave us strong information and freezer spray gave us strong information. So if you look under the thermal camera or freezer spray, um, if some components are heating mark, that doesn't necessarily mean they are the faulty ones. So you have to go into further investigation before you take them out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.